Hey, what's up everybody? It's Slick from X-Ray Fishing Team and I'm here with a short rigger tackle. These are the sea witches that we use when we're pulling uh, dead valley hoos or wahoos, dolphins, sailfish, even king mackerel, uh, tunas, everything. Today I wanted to show you how we rig our stuff. We have two different ways of rigging it. We rig it with wire. I use caliber wire. This is my personal choice. Caliber wire. This is a number eight wire. I like number nine wire as well. And I use Bill Fisher 130 pound mono for my mono leaders. with I guess on my wire and on my mono the, everybody asks what measurement you use like how many feet do you use what's the length of your leaders typically we use three points and I don't know exactly how many feet that is but it comes up to about 18 feet and what I mean by three pools is three complete arm length pools off the school. so I take this in my left hand and I'll do one two three that's three pools right there We don't tie knots on our monos, we use crimps. There's two different kinds of crimps. There's the, some people call them figure eights or double barrel crimps. This is what I use personally, Hollywood and I both use it. Uh, I like it better because it grabs the mono. Bear with me, my stuff's flying all the place. It, it, it grabs the mono better and then there's the ovals. Which we don't use these on our dead bait rigs, we use these on like big teeth or switch hang and stuff like that. So, on every mono rig, regardless of what size it is or what it is, we put wire in our rig. And it's called wahoo proofing, or that's what we call it down here in North Carolina, or up here, depending on where you're from. But I'll just take about a six inch piece of wire, cut it just like so. And I'll take that wire, and usually if we're on the boat, I'll, I'll bend it around a rod or something. But here, I'm gonna use my finger. I'm gonna bend it just like this. Just like so. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a second when it goes on the actual ring. So, what I'm going to do, we use chin weights on all of our ballet rigs. Most of the time, when I say most of the time, I say 90% of the time, even when we're using weighted sea witches or islanders, I still have a chin weight in my rig. And the reason we do that is you want the, the weight acts like a keel on the ballet hoop and it makes it swim straight and keeps the back up in the water. If you want to see how I rig my ballet hoop, there's a video on YouTube to show you how to do that. It's actually, my video. So first, actually I'm going to put the, I'm going to put a crimp on first. And again, this is 130 pound mono. Using 1.3 crimps. I'm going to put a crimp on. my weight on and I'm going to put my hook on. This is the number, this is the number 8 hook. We use 7s, 8s, 9s. It just depends on the season. Right now we're transitioning from wintertime wahoo fishing and we're going into dolphin, uh, yellowfin tuna, blackfin tuna. They're all going to be working in. So we're going to go with a number 8 hook today. Not a number 7. After I put the hook on there, I will return the mono through the weight. Okay? Now this is where your wire comes into place. I'm going to take my wire, and we're pulling ballyhoo. On mono, we get bit by two of the critters. Two of the critters being barracudas, king mackerel, big Spanish mackerel. Now in North Carolina, we have some huge Spanish mackerel. Now you see everybody see how I did this? I ran the wire through the hook and back through the weight. Okay, this is going to serve two, two purposes. One, if we get bit by two of the critters, king mackerel, wahoo, even sailfish for that matter, 
this wire is going to protect this mono loop. Okay. It's also going to serve as my pin for my rubber band. As most people know that follow me and keep up with me, I'll run a pin through the top of the valley hoop. We don't use wire, we use rubber bands. We don't use springs, we use rubber bands. That's just us. You can do what you want to do. I highly recommend trying rubber bands. through the crimp and now I'm gonna get this wire through here. This can be tedious so you have to be careful but it can be done. Just wash your fingers. When you do get it through there wash your fingers don't stack yourself in the face. tag in my main line my tag in through each barrel and then I have my wire coming through my tag in side of the barrel swivel I mean at the barrel crimp we call them barrel crimp you have another piece of wire down here this is going to serve as your pin when you're pulling a ballyhoo you want your hook down hanging out of the belly so I want my tag end of the wire up Bend up just like this. See how that is? This pin will be used for my rubber band to wrap around my belly hoop to hold my belly hoop on this hook and keep it from washing out. Like I said, you have to be patient getting this wire through there, but it can be done. My hands are saturated with hand sanitizer. Because we're practicing safe social distancing. Hence why Hollywood is six feet away from me. Just like that. Hook, wire mono, chin weight, pin from a rubber band. Now I'm going to print this. When you crimp crimps on wire, you want to crimp all the way to the end and pinch it. That way it kind of cleats into the wire and it grabs the wire. On mono, you do not want to do that. You want to crimp kind of close to the end on each side, but you want to pinch close enough that it grabs the mono, but also far enough away that it will make that end clear out. you how where my crimp is see the plier it's almost perfectly centered on this crimp it actually just worked out that way which is awesome i get one two three three pinches just like that now i'm going to trim this up the mono and my tag in all at the same time as close as you can just like so there we go that's the finished product now, the secret to this rig is this short rigger tackle, Sea Witch. We call this color cotton candy. I'm not sure what short rigger calls it, but I call it cotton candy for obvious reasons. All right, there's two different ends to a Sea Witch. This is the bottom. You want to stick your mono in through this side, okay? reason we do that so that when this thing is floating through the water it's just like so this thing bounces in the water just like that the color enhances the visibility of the bait gives it a larger profile so the fish thinks that it's a bigger bait than it really is just like that tell me that's not beautiful right there gorgeous then what I'll do is I will take the end of my motto, put another crimp on it, put it back through there. Some people use chafing gear. We typically do not, unless we're big, big game fishing. I like to leave my loops about this big. Okay? The reason we leave our loops this big 
This right here is going to age before anything else on this main line does. So you can, everybody says check your rigs every time you go fishing. You pull your hand out of line and you can feel a mix and stuff. And if you feel a mix, you need to replace your leader, no questions asked. Don't risk it. If there's a weak link between you and the fish, that fish is going to find it. So always make sure you take care of your, of your leaders. But like I said, I leave this loop this big because this will actually turn chalk white and you'll start to see cracks in it. And when we can visibly see cracks in it, we change them out just like that. We'll check the line, if the line's good, we'll leave the main line like it is, we'll cut it off about six or eight inches and do, do another loop. That is how simple it is to rig these. See, dead in the center. Three, three squeezes. Look how that's flared out on each end. You see that? That is completely safe. And it will not, you won't risk cutting your line with the, with the crimp. So that's it. Circle these up, just like so. And hopefully, in a couple weeks when we get a weather break, you will be able to see a video of this lure hanging out of a dolphin's mic. Again, Captain Mike Dupree, they call me Slick down here on the southeast coast of North Carolina. We fish the Outer Banks, fish out of Cape Point Marina, Parker's Island, North Carolina. And, uh, we use short rigger sea fishes. You gotta go check them out. Thanks for watching. Hey y'all, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up button in the bottom left corner, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell. That way you can keep up with all of our new posts and all of our videos that we're uh, dropping on the regular. We appreciate everybody's support. We love y'all. We'll see you on the next one.